Hi everyone, today we're going to read Bedtime Stories, Part 5. The Tortoise and the Hare Your get-up-and-go has got up and gone, said Hare to the tortoise one sunny morn. Your muscles are saggy, your greed are truly vast. In the race of the fittest, I'd bet you come last. Tortle, tortoise gazed at Hare with, through ancient gold eyes, opened his mouth, and digested some flies. Do I hear a challenge, a rate, a wager, a race? I'll go get my gear on if th that is the case. A scant three days later, the tortoise was dressed. His tatty old shell suit left Hare unimpressed. Hare looked cool in his sneakers, number one on his chest. Now, he said smugly, we'll see who's the best. On your mark, get set, go, yelled the hare, and right away vanished into thin air. Ho, hum, muttered Taurus in an unconcerned fashion. I'll just play it cool here, there's no point in dashing. One foot after the other, Tortoise plodded on, pausing occasionally to stifle a long yawn, admiring the daisies, enjoying the view, taking time out for pit stops and going for poo, three light years away on a distant far star. Hare shrieked to a standstill, thinking, I've gone too far. But aren't I the greatest? What panic! What a plum. What a drag, though, that I am now so far from home. Hare turned around and retraced his path. I'll still win this race, he said with a laugh. Meanwhile, here is Tortoise just taking his time, his beady eyes fixed on the finishing line. Slow and steady will win, not speedy and flash. The plotter reveals somewhat of somewhat splat ash. But what's that long up ahead with long floppy ears? Tortoise's hunch is it's all end in tears. Hare sets his alarm for just forty winks. I'll snooze then wake up and still win, he thinks. But Hare's sneaky plan goes badly adrift. When he wakes up one day later, he seriously miffed. Oh, how could I be so completely insect? Tortoise won the race while I overslept. Hare had sl slept through the ringing, the bells and the chimes. Hare had 40 winks, but 36 times. And here's our tortoise, the winner of the ace, for even no hopers, some sometimes win the race. The tortoise being winner against all the odds proves that victory lies in the lap of the gods. The end. I hope you like this book. I like this book because it teaches you that slow and steady win, not speedy and fast. What do you like about this book? The same thing as me? Yeah.